He sure did. He shared his, he sh he shared his whole life with the world. More uh, people listen to what he had to say. There won't be so much trouble in the world. But I'll tell you what is a fact about today. On September the 8th, or is it the 9th today? It's about the 10th. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, on September the 9th, the year, <laughs> the year 1971, John Lennon released an album called Imagine. And I'm going to ask Uncle Dean about this album, Imagine. I, 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 Do you mind if I take a few? Yes, yes. Okay, I'm going to show them that you love John Lennon. That's Arthur Elvis is my favourite singer, John Lennon is. And then Mike Orbison, Billy Fury. I like guys what can sing. When it comes to mm. music. But rock and roll, I like it from the sound, the beat, rhythm. Mm. I like all sorts of music. I like techno music. I like rap music. I like gospel music. I like, I just like music. It doesn't matter what it is. I like Bing Crosby, Dean Martin. Crooners. So I'm doing this video, it's called um, 49 years ago today, John Lennon's released the Imagine, album Imagine. What facts can you tell us about the album Imagine? Because it was very Bill near. Spector reproduced it. You're right. Charles Foreman, their, their friend from Germany, before they got big, he played bass on it. Right. Which is a lie, Charles Foreman. No. Stuart Sutcliffe went with Astra, the artist, didn't you? Did Ringo or George play on the album? This is before Ringo was in the band. That's the minute Stuart Sutcliffe and um, Pete Best. I know, but I mean, when John Lennon done Imagine, the album uh, oh, Imagine. Klaus Foreman played bass. Yep. Phil Spector, the producer from the late 50s and through the 60s with all the little girl groups. Yep. Wall of Sound, a school of music. Um, he, he produced it. And, well, John Lennon's song Imagine was his message to the world how it could be. If you just stop for a while and think and imagine there's nothing above us, no no God, no nothing. No religion. No, no possessions. No religion. Everybody's equal. It's a semi-communism, isn't it, really? It's, um, I think it's the ultimate song of all time. Com I, think imagine, I think Imagine is nearly the best song of all time. Or Lyrically, it is. Yeah, it's just such a great context, isn't it? Imagine. The best sung song of all time is um, Happy Birthday. It makes millions every second. Yeah. Choose so many times around the world. Happy birthday to you. Frosty. Happy birthday. <laughs> so the point is, imagine. So, um, how come it's so close to when the Beatles broke up? He must have been writing Imagine Why. Oh, isn't they all had material left over from when they were in the Beatles on their first couple of albums. Yep. They never got round to complete them. So the album Imagine, what did it do to the whole... John Lennon was doing the classic Ono band with Eric Clapton, wasn't he, in 69? And he was doing the stuff with Yoko in 68. That's, he he came away from the Beatles by 67. He wanted out in 63. Because no one could hear their music. Ladies and gentlemen, we are talking about the album Imagine by John Lennon. And it was released 49 years ago today. Thank you for them facts. Anything else you know about the Imagine album we can share with them? the documentary um oh chocolate orange well no i mean i go yeah. i'd say 95 percent of john lennon on most things um to me he's like a modern day jesus a prophet i mean um yeah. oh, I, yes please thank you very much only a couple two really enough thank you because mm. he sings in the song don't you give him the clothes to charity that's in Ballad of John and Yoko, isn't it? So, uh, um, you ask like the wife said, in bed you don't take nothing with you but your soul. Click. Giving all your clothes to charity. Christ, they ain't easy. They're going to crucify me. Mm -hmm. Was that John Lennon's first album? Solo album? No, that was Beatles. No, I mean the album Imagine. The single. That was. was Imagine John Lennon's first solo album? No, Classic Ono Band. 69. And another plastic. Oh, oh, no, one in 1970, and Imagine come out in 1971. A working class hero on the B side of the single. 
and he wasn't working class, John Lennon. He come from a middle class family and housing. The rest of the Beatles come from them. The middle class group was the Rolling Stones. They all come from upper middle class, rich families. So ladies and gentlemen, you've got it here exclusively on Danny Sloggett Vision. It was released 49 years ago. Let me used to go and watch the Beatles before they even got a record contract, like 1960. He said that's Billy Fury for a couple of years at the end of the 50s, and then all of a sudden come 61, that was all Beatles. So ladies and gentlemen, it was 49 years ago today, and we're saying a big shine on to John Lennon, because I love John Lennon. He's Uncle Dean's favourite singer, and he's my favourite singer too. And, we, and you love John Lennon too? Yeah. So happy 49th anniversary to Imagine the Beatles album. They said he could have been a stand-up comedian, John Lennon. <laughs> he had nasty side to him. Two tweets, he turns nasty, but sober. You, well, you've seen him on, he got Ready, City Go. It, you know, he's a wordsmith. He got that from his mother. She was like that, bohemian and wordsmith. She taught him to play the banjo. That's why he, when he played the guitar with Paul McCartney, he played banjo chords on it. McCartney showed him how to play proper guitar chords. So this is not just a, a big shine on Quarry to... Quarrymen, when they were called Quarrymen. This is not just the 49th anniversary of the album Imagine. This is also a biography about John Lennon. His Uncle Dean telling us about the man himself. Ask me any question about John Lennon and I'll tell you. What about his album Imagine? What about it? Or anything. Um, it's just good music. There you go, and it's great music. <coughs> um, <coughs> you're not going to get any better, are you? I mean, the man is one, he's stand at songwriting, he's up there with Mozart and Beethoven. I love the album. What do you think of the album Imagine? Because I love it. You love it? I, I like his latest stuff as well. But just before he died, like just starting over and watching the wheels go round and round, you no longer play the game, boy. Mm. Um, and all that, you know, it's always the message of his music. Like the song he done in Beatles, in my life, there are places I remember, people, some are dead, some are not, but of all these people and places, I loved you more. Uncle Dean, happy anniversary, happy 49th anniversary to John Lennon's Imagine. Thank you for that interview. Music and books and documentaries and things will be here long after we're gone. Elvis and the Beatles will be, well, they're in the history books. You see, they were phenomenon. Phenomen. They weren't just a little phase. They, they got bigger and bigger as they ceased to exist. Legends. And happy 49th anniversary to John Lennon's Imagine. Thank you for the interview, Uncle Dean. And shine on everybody. I hope you enjoyed the facts.